Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be calculating a confidence interval for one population mean. We know that from a survey of 2,256 GBSU students that they had a mean study time of 3.16 hours per day with a corresponding standard deviation of 1.84. So we'll calculate a 95% confidence interval for this uh, parameter, which is going to be mean hours spent studying per day by all GBSU students. So we'll be using the FRED method. And remember with FRED, you start with the F and that would be formulating the problem. When you formulate your problem, you're gonna state the population, sample, variable, and then parameter. Here our population would be all GBSU students. And then the sample is just that smaller group. So the 2256 GBSU students. Remember that from population to sample, it's the same type of people. It's just one is the all and one is the small. Then we have our variable which is study time per day. And then our parameter is gonna be mu because we're doing a population mean. And it always starts with mean. And here our variable is hours of study per day. And then we would state for our population, which is GBSU students. Now, when you define mu's, you don't always have to state your uh, units in the parameter definition. You just have to state it at some point. So next we do R in FRED, which is reviewing conditions. So there are two conditions that you have to consider. One is that the data is roughly symmetric. Now you can see with this box plot that it's actually right skewed, but it's not severely right skewed. We also know from this output here that the sample size, and we stated it before, is 2256, which is quite large. So even though there are a few outliers there, and even though it's roughly um, or slightly right skewed, because that sample size is so large, I'm not going to worry about either of those things because I think a sample size of 2256 is capable of handling that skewness and those outliers and still allowing our methods to be appropriate. So next in FRED, we execute calculations. So we start with the sample mean, which remember we denote with X bar. So here we have 3.16 as our sample mean. Then we find our T star multiplier. So remember, we wanted to be 95% confident. So looking at that T star multiplier table, I would go 95 and then the closest one is 500. So I have a multiplier of 1.965. Next, I would calculate standard error, which takes the standard deviation and divides by the sample size. And that is going to be 0 0.04 going out just two decimal places. After we calculate the standard error and we have the T star, we can take those two values and multiply them to find what's called the margin of error. So here we have 1.965, that's our T star, times the standard error we found above, which is 0 0.04. And the product of that is our margin of error, which comes out to be approximately 0 0.08. Now that we have the margin of error, we can use that to add and subtract to our mean, which was 3.16. And that will give us both our lower and upper bound. So we have 3.16. And we'll be subtracting the 0 0.08, and then we have 3.16, and we'll be adding the 0 0.08, and that will give us 3.08, and then the upper bound of 3.24. So now that we've gotten our lower and upper bounds, the next thing that we'll do in our FRED is going to be drawing conclusions. And remember, we always start with how confident we are. So here we say we're 95% confident. Then we state our parameter. Here's the mean hours per day spent studying uh, by GBSU students. And because there I stated my units, I don't actually have to state it at the end, but I'm going to. So we are 95% confident the mean hours of studying per day by GBSU students is between 3.08 and 3.24 hours per day. And then remember, you always have to have your confidence level, your parameter, and then the interval. And after you have all that, you're done. See you in a future video.